The T-stop at Station Square was set to reopen by mid-September, but well ahead of schedule, the outbound side of the tracks reopened today. In the two weeks since the tracks were damaged by a freight train derailment, 1,600 feet of track and 4,000 feet of overhead power lines have been replaced. Crews made some final repairs yesterday and they tested the tracks. Amy Wattis is more on when it's expected to fully reopen. Sure enough, the T heading outbound is up and moving at the Station Square stop. News commuters have been wanting to hear for several weeks. That's great because getting to South Hills was horrible. It's uh, an extra 10 or 15 minutes back off my commute. The Station Square stop has been closed for weeks since a Norfolk Southern train derailed, damaging the tracks. Contractors and Port Authority employees have replaced more than 1,600 feet of light rail track, 4,000 feet of overhead power lines, and a 5,000 pound power line support frame. I'm just shocked that it was so fast. You know, they did it, but I'm sure they did a great job. And I just really appreciate the, um, the quickness of what how they did it. The inbound T tracks are still closed and workers are testing these rails and the Port Authority says they anticipate reopening them over the weekend if everything goes well. Inbound rail cars will continue to be detoured via the former Allentown line. Outbound rail cars were also detoured through the former Allentown line, but that won't be the case anymore. A good 20, 30 more minutes. <laughs> so I was always late to work. That would be good. It's a little slower through Allentown, so that's nice. As for who's going to pay the hefty bill, that's still unclear. But the Port Authority is doing all it can to make sure it doesn't end up footing the bill. Amy Wattis, KDKA TV News.